Can we survive without water? We can, but not for long. Haha, <laughs> typical forest humor. Oh, you're not laughing. Well, I have a question. One youngling, Peter, waters his bonsai, as his florist told him. And he asks me why he has to do it exactly every seven days. I'll quickly answer you, Peter. But first, listen to this. Water is extremely important for your body and you can't survive long without it. You humans. Your bodies are composed of two-thirds water and it's in everything. In cells, blood, lymph and even in bones. Without it, some important chemical processes in your body wouldn't happen. There wouldn't be the transportation of nutrients and oxygen, nor would there be the elimination of harmful substances from the body. When it comes to plants, water is like a magical potion to them. They use water to grow and develop. I'll now reveal a secret to you. Plants can grow even just in water without soil. This is because water carries nutrients to every part of the plant. And just as you drink water when you're thirsty, plants drink water through their roots. And do you know what's also interesting? Plants have special openings on their leaves, called stomata, through which they release water and breathe, just like you exhale when you breathe. When you don't have enough water, it's called dehydration, because hydros means water in Greek, so taking water is hydration. If you don't take in water, at first you feel thirsty, and after a day or two you can faint. Uh, it's better to take water regularly. A human can't survive more than four days without water, and if it's hot, even shorter. Clear? Clear as water. Water is so important that some living beings have developed special tactics to retain it. Cacti in the desert often have small leaves or are without leaves, which helps them prevent water evaporation. Leaves have evolved into spikes to protect them from animals that could bite them, so that their stored water wouldn't leak out like from a broken reservoir. Camels are known for being able to endure long periods without water. They can drink huge amounts of water at once and store it in their bodies. In winter, a camel can go up to 50 days without water, while in summer, it can endure from 5 to 10 days without water. What? No, it's not water in the hump. Cartoons are fooling you. In the hump, the camel stores fats, hence food reserves and very little water. Can we talk about some unusual water drinkers now? For example, dogs. They make something like a spoon with their tongue. When a dog's tongue hits the water, a small amount of water forms and stays on the tongue. As the dog quickly pulls its tongue back into its mouth, a small amount of water is transferred from the spoon tongue to the mouth. We don't see this easily because dogs do it very quickly. Although it looks messy, it's very efficient for them and koalas. Although it was previously believed that koalas get all the necessary moisture from the eucalyptus leaves they feed on, biologists have recently discovered that koalas also drink water by licking rainwater that collects on smooth tree bark. Oh my, they lick trees. Or sea snakes. Although they live in the sea, they have to take in fresh water into their bodies. They won't drink seawater, even if it means death. Instead, sea snakes use fresh water sources when available. And this is the most incredible. Thorny Devil from Australia uses its skin as a network of water sippers to absorb water from damp sand. Its skin is covered with microscopic grooves between overlapping scales, creating a network that can absorb water from any part of the body, so it can drink water through its legs. And guess what? Desert jerboas can spend their whole lives without drinking water as they get all the necessary water from food. Okay, now, how do fish drink water? <laughs> Through their mouths. Ha ha ha, forest humor again. No, they absorb it through the skin, mostly. All right, all right. Enough about plants and animals that have adapted in a special way. Maybe you're interested that an average grass can't survive without water for more than a few days, just like you. If you water a newly planted tree, you need to help it with about 10 litres of water daily. And a big mature tree has already developed deep roots that can absorb and drink up to 300 litres of water daily from the depth of the earth. 
Also, you should know that one tree is often as deep in roots, as tall it is above ground. Here we come back to the question of our Peter and his bonsai. Bonsai? Oh, that's a special dwarf tree. It's of small height like me, or a bit more. And accordingly, it needs just a handful of water daily. So you give it a half glass of water every Saturday. And how much water do I drink? What do you think? Write me an email if you can guess. Yours truly, Mitros, naturally.